This part is called a slider pin, and I can see that the pin diameter is 8 millimeters, and the head portion has a diameter of 14 millimeters. The pin height is 25, while the overall height is 29. We will create a sketch of half of the profile of this pin and use our revolve feature to create the solid part. With my document for the Do Nothing Machine open, I can see the other parts that I've created and I'll start a new part studio clicking on the plus in the lower left corner and create a new part studio. I'm going to start a new sketch on the front sketch plane. Right click and view normal to the sketch plane. I want to start with a construction line which will become my center line. So I choose line and construction, snap to the origin, draw a vertical line, and I'm going to make this uh, 35 millimeters for my center line. And using a regular line command, I'm going to draw half of the profile of my pin. So I will click coincident to the origin and then the lower portion of the pin, and then roughly what the shape of the head of the pin would be. I want to be coincident with my center line and back to the origin. Now I've created this closed region, and I can dimension. Now the first dimension is the length of the pin at 25, and then the overall length, or overall height, at 29. Now, for putting dimensions on the diameter, if I click on this line and then the center line, it allows me to dimension the full diameter. In this case, it's going to be 8. So these are considered center line dimensions, and I can work with full size. So the diameter of the head from its outside edge, I'll click on the center line, and over here we know that it is 14. So that gives me half of the profile. I'm going to accept this sketch. Turn off the planes, hit P, and go to isometric. I'll use my revolve feature. This is going to be a solid. It wants the faces to revolve, and we'll click on the profile we just made. And the result revolve axis is going to be that center line and you can see that we've created the pin. So I'll accept that. The last step is to add this chamfer on the outside edge. So we'll use our chamfer feature. This is going to be an equal distance, 45 degrees and 2 millimeters on this outside edge. And I see that's been applied and we'll accept that. So with our part created, I'm going to find the tab on the Part Studio, rename, and this is our slider pin. Hit return, and that's done.